before working on this heater, always shut the power off. Action! So today I'm going to show you how to install a Profusion heater, 7500 watt. Before we hardwired it to the main power source, we tried running a double throw breaker right there and we had power to the source but it was not 220 volts. Don't know why, but it's just the way it is I guess. So first you undo your circuit breaker and make sure the power is off. After you've run your wire. You connect it to the ports, then run it through to a box if you want. And this kills the power, brings it on and off. With this little switch panel here, I have my two grounds running on the outside, non-cut, just you know, just sit, sitting there. And then we have our load on this side and then just the power running to the heater up and around and then you just switch it on and off and there's two fuses in there and then this will be compatible for the 31.5 amp heater and the wire falls up over then up into your box you unscrew your under box here and you come come under here you got L1 L2 and then your two grounds and then once you get that wired up and then you, you go up to it and then you flip your switch and the lights on and you got heat with this heater there is a power light, overheating light, thermostat, and a 6250 watt or a 7500 watt control. And also on the front there is movable vents so you can channel the heat wherever you go. And on the side there is a 90 degree setting, 67 and a half degree setting which is it's set at right now in a 45 degree setting. Also on the top there is a swivel mount. There's a washer stuck to the board and then the frame and then another washer and a bolt going through a big leg bolt which with this setup you can move it channel the heat wherever. If you thought this how-to video was helpful go give it a like. And if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. I got a lot of videos to come, and I can't wait to see the progress.